Hey, what's up? I'm driving in the car right now, heading out to to the mall here. I got my I got a day off today, and um, not the next day, but the day after. So I'm going to join myself for the rest of the day. You know, have a good time. You know, but I figure I would make this little video here. Basically, address a little something there that I just, you know, really kind of bugs me. Now, months back, actually last year, I made a video about, you know, if you're going to go after another YouTuber or um, don't bring their wife or kids involved in the whole mix, that makes you look like a scumbag, you know. Now, so basically, I want to. Now I want to make a video about this particular subject. See, last night, a certain well-known individual within this community called me through Skype, you know, to be a part of um, a program, which basically, you know, was a, I guess it's called drama or something there, I believe it was, you know. And I guess uh, the, the first thing I heard is, you know, Smack talked about Justin Bailey, who I do listen to. Justin Bailey is this, Justin Bailey is that, Joe Cronin is this, Joe Cronin is that, you know, for Candace, the big Ken is that, you know, we've heard it many times before, you know. But the idea, I hung up because, you know, that's the kind of stuff I do not want to engage in, to be honest with you. You know, I, don't, I said it, I've made a video about this, you know, I'll say it again. I don't want to be given sides to choose. Choose this person over that person or vice versa. I wish not to do that. I try to stay neutral. But, you know, there are other programs out there. There are other shows that like to go after other individuals, whether it's the Super Ugly Show, you know, Mars Mira, or Lucky Low, Ken from Foul Mouse Network, or um, J Joe Cronin, or even or Scott McKinnon, or his channel. You know, just uh, going back and forth, you know, it's just, to me, it seems pointless, meaningless. If you want to, here's a suggestion. Instead of going after other uh, YouTube streamers, like the ones I mentioned, go after the, those who deserve to be slandered. Go after those who deserve to be attacked. Take, for example, Rick Snyder, the former governor of the st my home state of Michigan. He allowed the waters in the Flint area of that state, the city of Flint, to be poisoned, contaminated, all for a money-saving effort. Go after the child molesters who would like to rape boys, girls, because they have some sort of a mental problem, obviously. They'll say something like, I can't help it, it's something that's inside of me. No, fuck you. You deserve to die. Go after the celebrities who break our hearts and let us down when we find out things about them that that automatically disturbing, you know. Like, like for example, I brought this up on the, the first episode of Alyssa and the Doctor. Gary Glitter. You know, 1970s glam rock icon. Songs like uh, Rock and Roll Park 1 and 2 that you hear at every sporting event to this day, I believe. I didn't know I love you till I saw you rock and roll. That was covered by a group called Rock Goddess, uh, a trio out of the UK. 
Do You Wanna Touch Me, which was redone by Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. You know, those are pretty good jams he had up there. Turns out the fucker is a pedophile. He'd say he, he did a few years in a, a Vietnamese prison for a molesting a couple of girls, ages 10, 11, or 12. And now he's uh, serving time in a UK prison for the same reason. He's also molested other girls, underage chicks, you know, back in the 70s throughout the 80s. The man has a problem. He's a pedo. Go after him. Jeez, we loved your music. We loved what you did. And we find this out, who's not going to be upset or heartbroken? Go after the gang members out in the streets, robbing and killing, beating up everybody who they don't see fit in their so-called society. Go after the crooked politicians. I can name a few right now, but there are some people who probably support those two that I wanted to mention. Who probably come after me and say, you should have, you should not have did it. They're trying to help us out. Fuck you. I don't see them doing it. Only thing they're helping is their wallet books. They're the paychecks. Go after the uh, wife beaters, the wife abu the women abusers, the fuckers who like to beat on women and children on a daily basis, where it's a boyfriend, husband, or whichever. Go after those motherfuckers. Take for example, Eric Brandt. He's a noted woman beater, and is, he's serving a. Uh, Five, I guess five years in uh, Michigan Penitentiary for domestic assault and abuse. His ex-wife is uh, friends with me on Facebook. And he's a noted, noted wife beater. He made threats against me on uh, through Facebook messaging. He went under a different account just to harass me my friend and their and her friends as well male and female go, go, go after this son of a bitch he can rot in fucking hell and also go out go after the uh, enablers of these so certain people who allow this shit to happen like uh let's say you're a mother you're married to a to a abusive man. He goes out and, and sexually assaults your daughter behind your back. But you don't. They try to tell you all this, but you don't believe them. Why? Because it's you don't want to lose your man. You're afraid of being alone. You deserve to. You people deserve to be slandered. Because you're allowing the shit to continue and you're allowing your children to be more and more traumatized and more fucked up in the end. Go after the, uh, the drug dealers on the street who sell, well, sell the most, sell heroin, cocaine, pills, somas out to everybody out there and go after the people who buy the drugs to get high go after the addicts out there who steal from stores supermarkets convenience stores because they gotta have them because they can't spend the money because they need it because they want they gotta save it for their drugs one woman I uh, that I briefly knew for a while did used to do that and even though she got killed, or basically, let me rephrase that, destroyed by a car going 80 miles an hour while running from stealing something from a nearby Myers back in Michigan ages ago, she needs to be put on blast. 
Yeah, I know she's dead, but look what the damage that she did. Don't go after those people. Go after the junkies who us uh, rob and steal. If they're deceased, you'll know, just say, we're sorry that you're gone, but you fucking knew better. You should have never gotten all involved in that ship from the word go. You should have said, no! And that is that. Go after those people. Not other YouTube streamers, whether it's um, JB, Onision, you know, every, anybody else, whether it's Catiana Grace. Go after those who deserve it. Really deserve it, folks. You know, troll for the people. Okay, I'm basically saying, okay? That's all I'm gonna. That's my video for now. I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Leave uh, any comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Have a good one.